and we have to keep the order of operations in mind and specifically how the numbers are grouped. We know that parentheses are used to group numbers and operations in parentheses get done first while the fraction bar also acts as a grouping symbol. So the things on top here are in one group and the things on the bottom are in another. So we need to compute this, the negative 4 minus 8, and also compute this, the negative 2 times 3, and then those two things will be divided. So let's do this in two steps. We'll do the numerator first, negative 4 minus 8 is negative 12, and that will be divided by all of this, negative 2 times 3, and negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. So we have negative 12 divided by negative 6. That will give us a positive answer because we have two negative signs and it's positive 2. Here are some more examples. Every one of these examples is a fraction. You see the fraction bar, which means we have the numerator divided by the denominator. So in every single case, we'll compute a value for the numerator and get a number there and a value for the denominator. We'll get a number there and we'll divide. So in this first one we have in the numerator 11 plus negative 5 times negative 2. This negative 5 times negative 2 has to get done, that multiplication right there, has to get done before this addition. So I'll do this in two steps. I'm going to rewrite this problem. I'm going to change the numerator to 11 plus but then right here, instead of writing negative 5 times negative 2, I'm going to carry out that multiplication. Negative 5 times negative 2 is a positive 10. So I'll put that down. Now on the, the bottom here, in the denominator, 4 minus negative 3. 4 minus negative 3 is the same as 4 plus 3. So now what I've done is I've changed my original problem into another problem that's a little bit simpler. And I'll continue to do that. Each step will result in a problem that's a little bit simpler than the one before it. Now again, let's look at the numerator. 11 plus 10, that's pretty easy. 21. And in the denominator, 4 plus 3 there is 7. So we have 21 divided by 7, and that equals 3. Okay, the next example, again we'll do the numerator first. We have negative 5 times negative 2 times 5. Well, I notice that there are two negative numbers multiplied together, so the result for the numerator there will be positive. And I can multiply these in my head. 5 times 2 is 10, times 5 is 50. So the numerator is positive 50. The denominator is 6 plus negative 4 and that's that's the same as 6 minus 4 which is 2 so I have 50 over 2 which is simply 25 and then in this third example here negative 10 plus 4 times negative 2 well I need to do this multiplication the 4 times the negative 2 before I do the addition so let's do this in a couple of steps. I have negative 10 plus, and this 4 times negative 2, instead of writing that, I'll write negative 8, because that's what 4 times negative 2 is. In the denominator, I have negative 1 minus 1 minus 1. And that's the same as negative 1 plus negative 1 plus negative 1, which is a negative 3. Now I'm not done, but now I have an easier problem than my original problem. Now negative 10 plus negative 8, that's negative 18. The denominator is still negative 3. And now you can see a negative divided by a negative. That will give me a positive number. And 18 divided by 3 is 6. So positive 6 is my answer. 